going on, man? It's your boy Blaze, Hunter Knife Wonder. We live Blaze Up Radio in the building, and we got a special, special guest. Blessed to have the homie Kendu Kente in the building. What's going on, man? What's up, my guy? The legendary Blaze nice. Hunter. <laughs> yes. How you feeling, man? Well, I'm feeling really, really good, man. Really good that we got you on because um we got some things to talk about. You know what I mean? <laughs> Most definitely. First off, y'all just want to jump right into it. Kendu Kente. How did the name come about? You know, let us know what's up with the name. Kendu Kente, my straight government. You know what I'm saying? I just that's the government. The road. Yeah, that's the government, brother. I chose Blaze, a role with that. Blaze uh, Hunter is my government, bro. <laughs> you you real talk? Real talk. <laughs> Blaze Hunter. What? Hey, hey, man, that's ain't a, ain't no other feeling in the world than, than going by your real name, man. Exactly. Because you know, I'm telling you, when I was in them streets and, and my rap name was Chaos. Yeah. You wonder why my life was full of chaos. Facts. You feel me? I'm like, Facts. oh, let me put let, let me dig chaos to go by, you know, the name. My mama, my mom and my dad. Come on, man. Dad. Hey, they look, was trying to raise me a Pacific way. I'm like, let me get back to my roots. Come on, Kendu, man. You can't say it is, brother. Hey, look, man. M- Mama named Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. I love it. And I love that you, that you said that, too, about, you know, your name was Chaos. You had a lot of chaos because a lot of people don't understand that power of the tongue serious. You did. <laughs> people think it's a game. No, it's not a game. The power of the tongue so, so serious. I mean, it, that, that had me switch up on a lot of things. A lot of things I say, like, for example, when people are like, "Man, I'm dead serious." No, I'm willing to lie serious. <laughs> you, you feel me? Hey, yeah. I'll be practicing that too. You, hey, yeah, you one of the ones because I swear, you know, I still be slipping over with some of that funny slang like me that. Too. But I try not to. <laughs> yes, for real. Like I, I remember this. Uh, you know the, um, the, the you know there's that that passage um, that's in the Bible where um, where they do the prayer where they're like um, our Father are, uh, who art in heaven and then I was like when you say that it automatically gives that um, people that mindset of all right I'm here God is in heaven there's that separation which allows that window of let me I can hide from God or I can do that but you know then there was like that uh that Greek that translation where it was like our father who is as close to us as the air i breathe and and people wonder why dog, they, these boys don't never slip up because they don't have that mindset like there's that separation they got that mindset that god right there so they're like right. man let me tighten up and it's all about the, the words they say that creates that mindset you know what yeah. i mean so i was like yeah. that's that's crazy yeah man that's true so it's a it's a gang of truth to that yeah man so, 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 you gotta, so let's, definitely gotta watch what you say Yes, you know big time. So, so yeah, let's talk about uh the the transformation from chaos to Kendu Kente. Uh, took many years for that, you know what I'm saying? Because I was hard headed, you know. Yeah, I, I I always had my faith, you know, my fair share of faith in God, but I wasn't ready to follow Him, so I wasn't trying to go deeper to nothing He was talking about. I wasn't really trying to read the Bible because, I mean, I I I knew it was power power in the bible my thing was if i don't know about it hey you know i said i can't get crucified i can't get in trouble for it if i don't know about it so i ain't picking up that book i ain't read it i don't want to know about it don't tell me nothing (laughs) (laughs) so you know what i'm saying god god kept on yanking me up yanking me up speak then i started learning just throughout the years he speak through people it ain't just the pastor he, he speak he speak through ordinary people directly to you yes. in those circumstances of what he trying to tell you. So yeah. he was doing me like that. He was catching me. I could turn on the TV. He was catching me through the TV. He was catching <laughs> me uh on broad people broadcasting on the radio. And let alone when I chose to go to church and pay attention to what the pastor said. Yeah. I just he just kept convicting me and convicting me and convicting me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, to the point where I start. I was like the dudes you were talking about when you see like God right there. He ain't in heaven. His exactly. Right, right there. there. And I can feel it. Like, well, you know what? Let me stop. I hear you, bro. When you try to leave me, I'm ready to come. You know Let's go. <laughs> you feel it? So I slowly but surely throughout the years, man, you know, with being hard-headed and all, like 110% yeah. me, all my troubles, everything, you know what I'm saying? I just got to the point where I'm like, you know what, Father God, I'm ready to 
I'm ready to hear you. I'm ready to listen. I'm ready to go where you trying to lead me. What's up? Please get me out of my own self. Yeah. I don't want to be this way no more. And that's when I chose to let chaos die. I was still trying to hold on to a little bit of things yeah. I loved about chaos, but I had to let chaos totally yes. go. You know what I mean? So by that time, I just was, he just led me into some brothers that was doing the Christian rap. I tell that story a lot because it, it impacts me up to this day. I'd be like, man, yeah. those brothers don't even know how serious of an impact that they made on me, you yes. know what I'm saying? You got, like, it, it, it's letting me know, like, I no matter how hard life get, because life is going to continue to be life, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Look what exactly. you're going through on your health issues and Come stuff on. like that. But you still motivated. You still Come keeping on. your faith in God. Yes. You're still getting up when you can. You ain't letting it defeat you. Come you know on. what I'm saying? Some people, some people are, um, you know, they're, they're, they're turning their back on God when it get hard. They're praising uh, when, when things wonderful and seem like it's going lovely, thanks. but as soon as life get hard, here they go turning their back again. You know yep, what I'm saying? Exactly. So uh, don't, for my set of part brothers, man, they, they made a huge impact on my life and they inspired me to keep going with this rap because at first I didn't know if I can do it. I didn't know what avenue I'd take. I didn't know if I could write rhymes. I'm like, oh, how I'm a right gospel rhymes and I'm not, yeah. you know, I'm not deep in my walk. I don't have a pure understanding of what yeah. I'm supposed to do, where I'm going. I, I was, that was bringing more trouble. Like how I'm gonna do some Christian rap and not man, exactly. I rather really not rap at all. You know what I'm saying? It was a struggle, but seeing them do it, inspired me to do it. And I just hit the ground and ain't, ain't stopped running yet. I'm running all the way to the end That's what's up. That's what's up, man. <laughs> Cause yeah, cause one yeah. thing, cause th that was that same. I feel you, cause I had that same struggle when I went when I went from secular into um just just being into. And at first, when I did it, when I went from secular uh, to gospel, I had that. I put that that um that border of limitation on me of what I can talk about. I'm like, all right, well, I only can talk about X, Y, and Z. But the what, what people just don't understand, and where I that, I believe that big misconception come with the gospel is that people feel like it's this this thing of rules the gospel is truth you know what i'm saying gospel is not opposing god like for example i can be like this this is a water bottle it's the truth it's, that ain't no lie that ain't fiction it's the truth this is a water bottle you know what i'm saying and it's like i can talk about those things things that i go on in, in my life where they could be a situation in a relationship or um, uh, uh, a battle with a, a, a disease or whatever it is, it don't necessarily have to be um, the those basic things that you hear in, in a lot of the cliche, the, the gospel songs. It, it, it could be about real life stuff that can impact, you know, that impact somebody or, you know, something. So that opened my mind to, to all the different things and the different approaches I can take on 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 gospel. So for anybody that's listening, that you know that do that do Christian rap, don't put yourself in uh, in a box and, and, and bubble. Talk about talk about the truth. Talk about your truth. Talk about what the impacts that that God made, and don't worry about you know sounding like everybody else or you know what they doing. God doing something in your life. Talk about that thing. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's real. That's real. And I agree. I agree hundred and ten percent, man. Cause I was happy when I when he when he let me know that I could be me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not worry about what's going on, like how he blesses somebody else, or yes. you know, they, they skills, they talent, they testimony. I remember seeing people like, dang, am, am I ever gonna have a testimony like that? Like cause some <laughs> people, you know what I'm saying? Like yes. some people just be all the way supernatural power with it. We, when I'm just stepping in, just, you know, reaching that point of salvation and I'm in this new world and see yeah. everybody all the way up with it. They praise and they worship it. They speak in the tongues. They do it a lot. And I'm like, whoa, whoa am I supposed to be here? What? Facts. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm the same. Like, man, I remember to the start, and I didn't know the uh, just just the basic Ten Commandments and know them in order in my heart. And somebody tried to try to get me, like, oh, so you don't even trying to tell me about God, and you don't even know the Ten Commandments by heart. Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> all that, bro, all yeah, that. Man. I, hey, man, I learned that it, 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 the mission to never stop because there's always somebody that's trying to like deter you away. 
from yes. the real mission. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So they, they judge you. Man, they judge you over what? As soon as you be like, I believe in Jesus, man. I gave my life over to Jesus. Yep. And I'm walking with him. You know what I'm saying? They think yep. you're supposed to know everything about them, everything about the Bible. Forget how long you've been saved. I'm telling they you. Just, they, they, just because you say you're supposed to know the whole Bible back exactly. and back and everything. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, hold on, chill. He's still working on me. I mean, Come on. Straight up. give me a chance to grow. I mean, I ain't got a degree in theology <laughs> yet. I mean, Go in my church, I ain't even got no title. I ain't no minister or nothing yet. I'm just, <laughs> just a, a member. A happy man that believe in God. I'm glad he found me. I'm chasing yes. after anything he got for me. It's gonna exactly. take me a minute to grow. Let me grow. I, you know I'm telling what I'm you, and what's crazy is there are there's so many, and that's another thing I learned too. That instead of a lot of people that come off as uh as rappers, they um as, as Christian rappers, CHH, whatever, they uh they move like um like a pastor would or a minister would is like all right this is my ministry and they come they're coming that way but not that's not everybody's title that ain't everybody's role i realize my role is i'm like i'm, like, I'm not no pastor or, or no teacher that i am I'm, I'm a servant of god just like they are and i know there are people out there that can relate to that story you know what i'm saying and so it's like again that thing with the with limitations it's it's so much that you know, people come in, and I've seen so many people come into it full on, ready to go, ready to do it, and then get that hard realization that that's not what it is, because they jump into a lane that ain't theirs. You know what I mean? And then just turn away from God completely, and then go yeah. backwards. And it's like, no, don't. It's like number one, it ain't gonna be easy, because offer up the enemy waiting for. Oh, oh, so you with God now? Okay, now he really, <laughs> about, he really about to press on you. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <He's really about laughs> For real, boy. I tell you, he wants you to stay over there with him. And yeah. man, I was doing, I was doing my thing as a, because if you ain't serving to God, you're serving to him. And when, when, when I, and even if you don't realize it, that that's just what it is. Like, ain't no, ain't, yeah. no, ain't no neutral ground. I used to try to let me straddle the fence. I don't want to be no saint, but I ain't trying to be no, no demon either. So I'm over here on the fence and devil like, what you mean, bro? I own the fence. So I'm like, oh, all right. So let me, I got to go over here with God then. You know what I'm saying? People don't realize it. So when I was over there with the devil, God doing a thing for him. <laughs> I was doing a thing for him. all the music, the club music, this, that, 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 whatever. I had everybody over there rocking with him and not realizing the damage that was being caused at all. Right. I remember I had this Instagram a video of my my baby sister when she 13 now, but she was like probably four then five. And one of my songs, my, my they did a little video and sent it to me, and I thought it was the cutest thing. She like got a lot of babies in my condo. I'm like, oh, that's cute. And I'm like, no, I don't want my little sister <laughs> feeling like it's cool to be another one right. of the babies in some some next dude con. No, let me tighten up. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about it. I was like, I had these jits <laughs> rocking. And I'm talking, and I'm talking about these babies in my condo. We got the money. We throwing them. They twerking. They doing that. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Uh oh, uh, exactly. Yeah. Just right. like when, man, you you right though, cause God, when He let you see, when He let you see what you was doing, you be mm. like, what the heck was I thinking? Cause you thought yes. it was the coolest thing on earth, the best thing to be doing, man. Come on, on. I'd be like, I'd be looking at a lot of my past like that. If do bring some shine, I just be like, thank you for letting me out of out of that. Yeah. Thank you for showing me the truth, giving me another chance. I ain't going back that way. And if I could stop some brothers and sisters from doing that, that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's our, our job. Like we come from a cold little culture and a uh, nice little generation where we could put a spin on. Now we making this side, we making it cool to yeah. love. We making it cool to be real men. Yeah. We making it cool. Yes. You know, we can sound good on the track and ain't got to kill nobody. You know exactly. what I'm saying? We ain't got to disrespect no women and, and, and guide the youth in the wrong direction. You know what I'm saying? On. We about to bring a whole new new thing to the kingdom. That's why I'm happy I'm doing this interview with yes. you. Yes, yes. Give me a good vibe. The day when I first met K K Ch K Will, man, yeah. I'm telling you, she came across as real genuine. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. we hit it off. That's my girl. She cooler yeah. than a fan, man. You know what I'm saying? On. My 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 fiance even like. Then when I got here to you, I just I be keeping up with what y'all be doing, and I see how God moving in y'all life and I love it. So I'm I'm happy that I can be a part of even yes. this platform right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause we we gonna all grow together, man. You yes. know what I'm saying? For Spread real. some positivity throughout the 
throughout the world with these platforms, you know, yes. and our gift and our talents. And that's you know why, and, and that's why I loved it. Like when she first, um, when she first let me know about um, her having you on, on the show and I got to hear the song and see the video, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to do the interview as well because the, the platform, because I didn't make my platform solely a gospel platform. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And of course, there's a lot of people like, oh, they question why, but through this, like I, I'm not going to throw a whole bunch of uh, names out to put people business out, but there's a, a hand, a good handful of artists that I've run across that was some of them were atheists some of them were strictly against um uh, one that they weren't atheists but they were strictly against anything spiritual anything godly or whatever but through their interactions with me through some like um i used to do the um which i'm bringing back the um the blaze it up kingdom music review show that i used to do and a lot of them would tune into it not paying attention to the title and still trying to submit their music and i'm like no 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 this show this particular show is only you know the gospel artists so they are still they would still stay in and listen to the music and vibe and whatever and a lot of them end up hitting me up and switched up the style of music not every single two of them you know do you know chh now but there's some of them that still do their own music but um it's not as demonic as it used to be some of them hit me up like dog bro it changed it changed my life that you didn't just come and judge me off this way so the the one reason and and i knew god had me for a reason do it to where not make it a, a gospel platform but at the same time not make like like of course with my radio station when people submit their music I, they got to be the clean versions i don't do the um you know I, I run it you know normal so still not shutting them out but at the same time you know i'm not presenting it um you know crazy to to everyone and i always make sure that um when it, i don't separate you know the like a lot of award shows they be like all right we got the best music video then we got the best gospel music video and i don't separate them if whether it's gospel or not if the if, the, if this is the best song that go in the best category don't put you know the, the, the christian people in a box you know we all it's this all what we do you know what i mean and because i have them i, I have the you know it, it included it, it makes it to where it's not it's, i'm not secluding them and people that that are secular or you know atheists whatever they still get a they still getting their fair dose of that jesus <laughs> where it's not yeah. being force fed to them For but sure. it's in, yeah. in the flow yeah. you know and that's and how I you love got, that. and that's the, that's the i love that i love that idea i'm glad you did that too because that's like who i am as a as a as a christian rap artist now I ain't always, even when I became a set apart soldier, I didn't automatically call myself a Christian rap artist yeah. right away, but I chose to do that because I wanted them to see like, look, man, a, a lot of us are just alike. Like some, I was lost, like totally lost at one point a time in my life. You know what I'm saying? So God yeah. had to, had, God had to find me, bless you brother. God, God had to find me you know, how he had, he had, like I say, he worked through people. So yes. it was a normal person who got my attention, who God was speaking through that helped bring the best of me out. So, yeah. so I'm not going to allow him to change me. And then I look back at the, at everyone, like say this, the line of salvation this way. Yeah. And I left, I left a whole bunch of people I love right here. They ain't get to cross over the line and yeah. I would just keep on going, like, forget them. No, I'm going to exactly. stay right here. Exactly. Like, hey, y'all. Look, boom, boom, boom. So however the sound of my voice sound and what God got exactly. me doing, and the ones that see me who supposed to see me, they're gonna be like, oh, I'm going with do over there. And I'm helping them come in. Like, hell yeah, nigga, come on in. You know what I'm saying? Come on, on exactly. something real. Yes. Like, I don't want to be like out of touch. Like I ain't get saved to just disappear from the unsaved. I, come on. How they gonna get saved? You feel exactly. me? Exactly. Exactly. So, so that's why I'm happy that my music can can kind of sound edgy and I'm and I'm finding more and more artists that's that's just as cold at first at, at first I wasn't really hearing a lot of like Christian artists that I felt felt yes felt. so I yes. just stayed in my own lane trying to figure out how can I be creative enough to 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 push out a positive message show my faith and belief in God but still be grounded enough for them to hear my music like oh this tight and they yeah. don't even realize they bobbing their head to a Christian rap artist, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> so, hey, I'm right with you, brother. We two are the same, man. I love it, man. So, yeah, I, I was that's a, that was gonna be my next thing. So, um, I don't know how much um, 
a, a Christian hip hop you listen to, what's your um your um your take on what that genre is today? Like um just the Christian hip hop genre right now. No, um, I'll say this. I I like a couple of them. I still don't. I ain't studied enough to know who is who and all that. Of course, we all know the crack. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know his personal business and how he is as a like a human being. But I heard yeah. a couple of his songs. I I like the crack. Yeah. I know he. A lot of people be like, well, he too far. They believe he went back to secular world. I don't think so. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think know so. What's going on. Right. I I mean, he cool with me. You know, I. I mean, from what I really, really, truly hear about the C, the C H H world, the Christian hip hop genre, yeah. it, it, man, man, I ain't know it was that much drama and trouble. People always talking about each other. It's like it ain't <laughs> oh, no bro. unity. It's like who really forgot and who ain't. It's like it's more mess in that genre. Than it, 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 bro, is. it is. <laughs> I learned. I learned such the hard way. Like I remember when I first I first crossed over. Shout out to my boy Louisville. Um, he was getting ready to uh, open up for um for uh, uh, uh KB um for uh, at this this church in Miami. So I was like, Pit already. This gonna be my first show as a uh, as you know as a Christian rapper, and uh, we already opened it up for one of the biggest names because he signed under Lecrae. If it was Lecrae Jay Z, KB is Kanye. So I was like. So I'm I'm hyped about it. So I'm thinking because it's you know it's a it's a, a God based show that things are gonna be way different from a lot of the shows I've done with these these secular celebrities and stuff like that. All of it the same. <laughs> all of it the same. I was, so, I was so let down and almost turned backwards from all the the same politics, if not more but worse than mm. at the at these events. I'm like, yeah. I'm thinking once, you know, we we, we meet the artists. When I, when I was doing a lot of the shows with a lot of the secular big names, you know, they like, oh, if you ain't, since you're not signed, they'll pee on you. Like, nah, we good. You know, that's a little pee on right there. I'm the star, you the legit. You know, they, they move that way. So I figured I was about to be backstage with KB and, and I can, and not, no knock on him that he a bad person or none of that. But <laughs> instead of moving in that way that I figured that he would move, um, or a lot of the other ones that the acts that were on that show, I thought that you know because we all we all on the same team, we all Jesus, so we gonna be mm-mm, say, the same way. No, you ain't you ain't the big name like that. So now we good and security get them and trying to talk them. They you know fast talk. They they you know fast talk you real quick. They move on to them. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I was, hey, I was that's, shocked and confused. Hey, that's heartbreak. Hey, that's heartbreaking, bro. Like the first time I ever noticed something like that. I I tell my girl, like, you know what? I'm 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 saying I'm a Christian rap artist, but I'm not gonna say that I'm part of CHH. I'm like, I'm about to make my own genre up. I think I was like, I was a uh what did I I said my genre was gonna be called Christian Underground Soulful Rap Music. I ain't with too much guys. Let's go. (laughs) I'm creating my own lane. I'm bringing up some real brother because I'm telling you, I meet more talented Christian rap artists underground on the underground level anyway and i always yeah. love down to earth people period yes. whether i was in the secular world or i'm in the kingdom now you know what i'm saying i don't uh-huh. like the funny act of people who come on who forget who forget that uh that they was lost at one point in time exactly. it's cool i don't man i i salute you however far god raised you up but don't forget about the exactly. human being, the humble in the exactly. voice, you know what I'm saying? The inspiration for people like us coming after you and got to lead other people in because yeah. it ain't all about us, 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 us. Hey. So I ain't letting the, the fame get in the way. I ain't letting the money get in the way. I ain't letting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to use I'm gonna use the gift for the better. So, you know, I, I don't ever want to have a Hollywood swag, you know what I'm saying, yeah. where I can't communicate with somebody who, because rec- there's people who need us, bro. I remember one time, this is a prime example. This I'm still new to a lot of things. We go to this, we go to an all women prison. You know, yeah. my shout out to my homie Better Off, him and his squad. They hooked it up where we can go perform a song or two at the um prisons um yeah. at the women's prison. That's so tough. we go in there, you know. I, I ain't thinking nothing. I'm all I'm thinking about is performing and maybe saying a few inspiring words over the mic and we leave. Man, we go in there, man. 
we get the telling testimonies, we get the performing, we get the inspiring them and motivating them. At yeah. the end, you got, you got people crying because they so touched. And I'm like, I ain't know we had the power to touch them. That I'm still new. I ain't know. Yeah. That. I, I'm now. I'm seeing the power in this. Yes. Now they coming up to us. They want prayer. You can't run from that. You like even if you feel Come like Dang, I don't really know how to play pray all like that. You you got to just let God use you for that moment. Exactly. Like, well, I know I don't know what to say, but here we go. Boom, 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 because your prayer helped change in their life. So if you yes. act Hollywood and like you can't, or what you not being, you not even effective with your ministry, or your gift for your talent. So no, I don't want to be a part of that. I ain't hating on you, but go ahead and act funny. I'll see you it, in a minute. You exactly, know? exactly, man. I found out that that is a whole bunch of funny acting. There's a whole <laughs> lot of them. There's a whole lot of that are on that. Uh, they make music. And, you know, because they're like, all right, they still, what they'll do is they'll say a couple things, like they'll, they'll make sure the, the, they have Jesus in there. And and long story short, the, mu the music is more like, uh, I'm cool, I'm saved, but, you know, I'm still cool, though. You feel me? Yeah. It, there's no message, no substance in the song. can be, boom, I'm shining, I'm cleaning, I got Jesus. <laughs> you money, da, 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 but, and it's like, all right, that's cool that, you know, that, I'm glad that you're saying that you're a Christian and um and then you look clean and your clothes is fresh and all that stuff. But what's any of this doing to save my life though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And, yeah. and that's that's when the aftermath come in, like all right, after they turn off the, the music, the, the video cameras turned off, you mm -hmm. know, now you back a part of the real world. Now, how effective are you gonna be, man? Is oh, you gonna talk to you. me? Is you gonna is you gonna, you know, I'm I, if I got some, if I'm going through some inner, inner in the Come issue, on. can you speak to me and help me with that or you about to act like a superstar <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you it's straight up you know what i'm saying and, and that's and that's not even just with, with with music that's just like if if someone hit me up out of hey blaze boy what's going on and if i'm toe up my answer ain't gonna be oh, blessed and highly favored brother and it, it's just gonna right. be it's like, man i'm going through it right now man i mean, I mean god gonna take care of me you feel me but you know I, I ain't gonna lie i'm going through it and that real conversation could be oh i wouldn't even expect that uh you know but i'm like yeah man da, 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 whatever but that's yeah. that allow people to realize oh dog i don't have to be this perfect person and still exactly. you, you know yeah yeah man that yeah i'm, I'm glad i, I think i i I apologize to a few dudes. At my, I used to be like, man, I used to be so hard on my Christian brush. Like when I was mad at God for, and, and it's so funny that a lot of, a lot of things that I was mad at God for, or I was blaming others, I caused it on myself. It, yeah. it came from this decisions and choices I was making in life that led me down a, this, the path of destruction. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. path of hanging with people who ain't really love me. Like I'm, I'm being closer to the ones who don't love me and I'm kind of shunning the ones that really truly love me. Mm, I'm bringing, yeah. I'm, I'm making wrong, I'm, you know, your, your, your wrong mistakes and wrong choices lead you to depression and popping pills and drink. Yes, you know, I'm yes. overindulging in alcohol, smoking weed. I ain't thinking saying cause my mind clock. So, yeah. so, you know, I got, I'm kind of defensive when people trying to tell me to slow down or, lead me in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? Now it's F you, F you, y'all can't tell me nothing. Now I'm looking at they thoughts like, y'all doing this, y'all doing that, y'all can't tell yes. me nothing. One, y'all go to church every Sunday and y'all still the same, y'all ain't nothing. Yes. Man, I was a beast with it. But now mm -hmm. that, now, now to be on this, you know, this real side, I'd be like, it humbled me a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I know it ain't all about me. So I watch what I say, I watch how I judge people. You know, I, I really don't judge nobody, but you know, I just want to stay close to the real, like the one, yes. like my mentors, people like you saying, who, who let they real human being Christians is real human beings. They still go through sadness. Yep. Yep. Still get depressed here and there about some yep. things that's going on. That they don't, we still got questions for God that ain't yep. been answered yet. All yep. type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Slip up and fail here, slip up and fail there, but strong enough to get back up. And Come keep on. Move. Come on. You, feel me? you know what I'm saying? We, we just ain't no. 
like 110% holy saints where we don't go through nothing. The devil ain't attacking us. We don't make no mistakes. Everything's Telling peachy you. in our lives. Everything. <laughs> mm. Boy, that, I use that. I, 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 got a, I got a song. Me and my boy did a, shout out to my boy EDMC. We did a mixtape. Um, where we use in this mixtape, every single beat was inspired by the Super Mario Brothers games. And um, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. So one of the songs is called Course Clear, where it's using that, you know, right, right after you finish, you beat the stage, you know, it got that. So we use that and made a beat out of it. But the, the reason I use that one was just kind of like how what you were saying, like once you get on this side, um, as soon as you finish that course, like you get to that thing, everything good, you on to the next challenge. <laughs> on to the, a, lot, a lot of people feel like when they get to that, that mountaintop, oh, we good, we made it. Thank you, Jesus, I done made it. But you got to go back down to go through that valley to go to the next mountaintop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know and, yeah, that's real. Yeah, and, uh, and, a lot of, and a lot of times I've been to so many different uh, church services where the only thing they do is they will preach on um, just the, the just about making it there and and uh, you know making it to the to the mountaintop. So a lot of people get in that misconception that oh once I'm saved I'm gonna be Superman and then and then we're gonna be on Easy Street and God got me and as long as I trust in Him none of this stuff is gonna mess me up. Wow, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, total opposite. Boy. I'm telling you what the cool thing is once you have that peace, you know, you got that peace of Jesus, you know what I'm saying? It makes it to where you can be able to handle it. Like a, I get a lot of music that come through the station. One gospel song I got that I love is dude is like, um, um, he say it's so much better on this side. And I love that, that song. And, uh, I remember somebody hitting me up and one of the, I was doing a review show. I played the song and one of the dudes in the comments was on some, Oh, that's, that's, uh, so he just rubbed it in our face, talking about it's better on this side, like my side. I'm like, no, no, no. I said, don't look at it that way. I said, I'll explain it to you. I said, I can, we can be going through the same situation. My car just broke down. I'm, uh, now, this is me without Jesus. Oh, car broke down. I'm hot. Um, in all this different, all this negativity in my head now, somebody could be coming to try to help me. I'm like, no, I ain't got time for all that. Leave me alone because I'm in my, um, I, I got all this craziness going on. But same situation. My car broke down. I got Jesus. Um, I got that peace. <clears throat> car broke down. You know what? All right, Jesus, let's get through it. Whatever. I'm it suck, but you know, I'm gonna get through it. And then whatever that same type of help that came while I was being negative, I have an open mind to accept this same help now. You know what I'm saying? And 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 be able to fit, to get through that situation accordingly. So instead of me being all in my head, hot, mad, cussing everybody out. You know what I'm saying? This this piece allow all that extra negativity to be out of the way so I could find that solution. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That difference. Or my stepdad, his daughter um, 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 died of lupus. Same thing, I got lupus, but she had a crazier strand. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, sis. But um, um, I remember, like, yesterday, I called my mom, like, you know, how how you doing? I want to uh, talk to him. She's like, oh, he back at work. I said, she just passed this morning. He at work. So I hit him up. I'm like, no, you good. I want to make sure you straight. He's like, he said, yeah. Um, I was like, what you doing at work? He's like, he said, uh, you know, after, uh, you know, after she, you know, passed, you know, uh, went to the, you know, church prayed and then I went to work. I know she in a better place. You know, God, um, I know God got her taken care of. It hurt, you know, but, um, like, I know God got her, he got her and, and she not going through this pain no more. And, you know, and he was able to move and I was, just, and I was booing because I'm like that right there. <laughs> is that peace of jesus if he didn't have jesus why did you take him from me god da, 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 cuss all, that. all that but because of that peace even as much as it hurt and that's his daughter you know what i'm saying as much as it hurt still he was able to god i know I, I don't understand it i don't i feel that ain't fair but i trust you god you know what i'm saying he had that that's that peace right there and i'm like i'm like wow something that crazy in that situation you still able i'm like oh yeah I, I took the the just that piece of god i took that so much more serious after that yeah brother yeah that's just, that's the one of the realest things you said because it, it's that it's that piece it's that jesus piece man where you yeah. know that a lot of a lot of the same things affect you because you full of that spiritual you 
you looking through the spiritual eyes and not like, yeah. you know, the flesh, your own, leaning on to your own understandings and mm -hmm. looking at things through an emotional perspective and yeah. what, you know, what everybody around you saying and all of that. That's when you, you, you taking everything to the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? You breaking right. stuff in your house. You taking weeks up away from work, you know what I'm saying? Not exactly. taking your money. You just, you know, I, I, I know the difference between looking through spiritual eyes and looking through the eyes of the flesh. You know what yes. I'm saying? <laughs> so that that piece, I, I started off praying. That's one of the biggest things I was praying for. Like God, just give me your peace, give me your understanding. Yes. So I was led to the fruits of the spirit, and like I remember how happy I was just reading reading about the fruits of the spirit you know what i'm saying like yeah. love joy peace patience kindness all in the words i'm like that I, I was really looking them up like okay so these are the fruits of the spirit this is what i want i'm praying for that i yeah. was praying for the full armor of god them two things and i'm still studying that trying to receive all of that because that i want to walk in that at all times that way like just like your home, anything that happened in life, I'm, I see God and I won't be blaming him. I won't be yeah. down in hell and hard on myself. And you know what I'm saying? Being exactly. bitter towards this and resentful towards that and hateful towards that. Yeah. It drives you crazy. You know what I'm saying? It really does. People <laughs> die in depression. They kill themselves. They murder yes. others. Exactly. Anger, when you let anger and all that frustration take over you, that, that ain't peace. That ain't God, bro. At all. At all. Mm. Hold on. Everybody trying to let me let me kill y'all real quick. Bam. Bam. Bet. <laughs> yeah, man. God. It's a it, it, it's it's a lot. And and I love that um just like for example, the um uh you your the you had the music video on the um Kayla's first episode and i love that um and her uh, cause she's the same with shout out to k will she has that that same mindset to where um she just like me she don't with her show she wants to it um not just uh put you know the, the christian rapper in the bubble or the, you know she you know she plays it all and I love that people get to see that variety, especially um, uh, in your in your thing, and to see the you know the just the the, the visuals that how serious you take it in. It's not just you sitting in the church, you know, with the Bible and thumping. It's like if they put the music on mute, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they wouldn't know what type of uh, what type of you know music video it is, and right, I, right. you know, and, and I love you know, and I love that. So with your uh, with your team, like the whoever, you know, the video team producers that you work with, like, how did you get together with the, you know, the team that you have to, you know, to, to push out the visuals and, and the sounds for your music? Bruh, that's, that's, that's another gift from God for real. Like that video, I think you're talking about Energize. Yep. God gave me that vision for it. So I hit up with my, one of my homies, it's a homie in my city, his name Logan. Yeah. He filmed a lot of um, people videos and stuff. So, that's my first time reaching out to him, like, man, look, I want you to film this video for me. How much you charge? He told me, I'm like, I want you to do it because I love how he filmed his video. Yeah. But it's as far as really good the job. visual, it was like me and him because he was like, man, you should go downtown, shoot it here, shoot it there. Blah, blah, blah. I already knew that I wanted to be like a, a more, I really wanted more people. I wanted yeah. to be a whole bunch of people, like 50 people dressed in black with holding yeah. up signs and we marching for peace, we marching against yeah. Biden's, we about to shut the hood down on the positive stick, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it still, it still came out wrong, so much, much love to Logan for helping me do that and, and everybody who showed up to the video because I only reach, I reach out to everybody who rock with me, I reach out to family, yeah, uh, real friends, strangers who like my music, I just invite them all. Like, hey man, y'all want to be in this video? Come, come rock with me, cause I let I'm not doing this by myself. I, this is not a one man team, you know come what I'm on. saying? So I'm I'm just like y'all. I'm, I'm I don't turn my back on anyone. You just can't yeah. come around me full of the mess, you know exactly. what I'm saying? But I, exactly. but I, I, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still down with secular artists. I got secular yeah. artists in my family who ain't 
they ain't trying to change right now. They like, well, we love mm-hmm. you, can do, man. Do your thing, but we're gonna stay over here and do this. And I'm like, exactly. okay, I'm gonna I'm keep on inspiring y'all because every time y'all see me, no matter wow. how I'm just gonna be the same can do, but I'm expecting God to take me high. Y'all gonna y'all gonna have to come on the side of the middle. Yeah, because I ain't coming yeah. back on that side. Just, just so let I'm that light keep shining this. through you. Let that light you keep shining me? through you. They're gonna That's, see it. Exactly. So I still gotta love on these people here and there. I ain't gotta kick it with them on the day to day and be riding mm-hmm. in the car and hitting their little missions, but I'm still here for them. I'm a phone call away, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You, you know, that's why I want to get better at praying for others, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Both both with no one's looking or if they're in my presence and they exactly. need that prayer. Exactly. They need people like us to, to, to do that for them. Like how we can, that's why I say I ain't really, I ain't judging the secular world. I came from there, man. I'm not about to exactly. uh, be dogging Jay-Z and all the worldly rappers just because I'm finally on the Christian side. Like, hey man, this this over here, man. Forget all y'all, you know exactly. what I'm saying? They looking like, what? <laughs> you be running exactly. people away from the church when you look, the church is where people come to be healed. And yes. I mean, when they really in need, like I was, man, you come to church, you looking for people you think that or anointed enough to pray for you and get you up out your situation somehow. Yes. So ain't no way that the lost can be saved that the saved is disappearing and running too far. So I ain't never exactly. gonna be like that, bro. Never. I love it, man. I love it. I love it. So, so what? So what? So what's next for you? What? What? What's the the next step? Um, what's the rest of twenty twenty one looking like for Kendi? <laughs> well, Rick, man, I'm trying to get that YouTube page popping, man. So. So all all the all of the songs that I consider the best on um from glory to glory, I'm yeah. turning them all into videos. So I just want to shoot, yeah. I'm gonna shoot a gang of videos for the rest of the year. Some in Cleveland, some out of town. You know what I'm saying? But, uh I'm really ready to release my second album, but I don't want to do that until like the middle of the summer or late summer. Yes. It's already done. Wise. You know what I'm saying? I just Wise. Wanna, I'm still having fun with uh promoting that from glory to glory because you know i ain't got all the money in the world and all the support so i don't want to leave it alone that quick i'm just making sure i'm satisfied before i leave it alone i'm always gonna come back to a couple of them songs when i'm blessed to perform and stuff like that them songs you know Mm -hmm. we 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 back by power now so our songs like some of them songs ain't never gonna fade they always gonna be wrong you know what i'm saying so you always be able to perform it because it ain't an image behind it's and it's powered good. by and 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 I said one thing that I do also salute about about you as an artist is that you are taking these things into you know into different platforms because the thing is why you why you got them on X Y and Z there's a lot of people that may have watched the you know the vibe with K Will episode for any of their other artists that haven't seen or heard your stuff from any of those other things but they're here and energized for the first time now and get to be like oh. Who is this? Same people that's going that that I get regular that that listen to Blazer Up Radio that watch my things is going to get to see you and be like, oh, I didn't, you you know what I mean? And now, yeah. and it's cool to not just rush into the next thing to right. you know f- squeeze <laughs> squeeze all that up out of the woods you got. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because because yeah. you can't them things is good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you got things to say stuff that you talk about it. People need to, and then now there there'll be some people that probably heard it before. And now got to hear you know hear us speak. You'd be like, oh, I didn't know he came from the streets like that. And da 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 da. And now they want to give it a chance and, and listen to it. It's like, uh, I, I love that. I, I salute that uh, that part of your grind to, to to make that decision not to just rush into that next thing. The fact that you're holding off and continuing to still push this because there's some good stuff right here. God didn't give you that for no throw it down and, and let that thing go. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, yeah. Thanks, brother. I'm so I'm just, so that, I'm just taking my time with that, brother. But uh, by the time the next project come out, it's, I'm 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 really loving the next album. But yeah, you'll see, man. Because me and you, I'm gonna always keep in touch with y'all, man. Yeah, like, even when I'm blessed to come to Florida, I want to meet y'all face to face, in person. Yeah, we chopping up and all of that, man. Yeah, where you at? Right? I know, man. Huh? Where you at right now? Cleveland, Ohio. Oh yeah, see, I gotta go to Cleveland, my boy LB. See, my boy LB, a shout out to LB Sickman. He got a show. It's just music that's on, uh, on the TV network, Signature Series Network. If there, if if no, people that's watching ain't subscribed, y'all gotta tighten up. Watch dot Signature Series Network dot com. You feel me? Anyways, <laughs> and do a plug out there. I since you there, uh, I want to see if I can uh, uh, 
uh, cl- click you up with my boy, with my uh, my boy LB that's up there, and um, get you on his show as well. Just to oh, that'd be dope. Yeah, man. So definitely. So yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to man. I, I I thank God for this platform because um, like a lot of what, what's messing up a lot of people is a lot of people they tripping as far as this because now that the, the pandemic done then took place this was the the mainstream this was independent the pandemic did this <laughs> you look at a lot of these big name artists they doing zoom calls and zoom things you know what i'm saying they on ig you know what I'm saying same as we on ig we do a zoom thing you feel me so we all at this 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 playing field right here so i'm like artists right now need to really take advantage of that this is the time no. To, for real. to you know what i'm saying this is the time and i love that with this platform like god had me before the thing he had my boy shout out to my boy mr cooper mr cooper hit me up and was like yeah bro a shift coming i don't know why i don't know how but you know god just gave it to me man and it's gonna be you have to move this way and move it so i took heed into it so I, I i doubled down on getting the radio station on point in my review shows and stuff and then when that pandemic hit nobody going to clubs nobody going here don't got no place to play their music who they gonna come to Let's go. <laughs> you did. It, 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 it put me in a whole nother different stratosphere and a, and a whole new wave of opportunity. And I'm like, and I and I love it because I love the I'm like all the different people that I've I've gotten to meet to inspire or be inspired by. It's just it's just been good, man. And and, and, I, and I love it. It's a big blessing to be able yeah. to have this opportunity to where we can talk now. And I know that like, it ain't gonna be no two or three people that listen to a lot of people are gonna be blessed to have a lot of people that constantly viewing and listening. So to know that now you about to be exposed to a good amount of more people, you feel me? That, that, I, ah, oh, <laughs> just get me hype, hype, hey, I love it. Right, hey, look, I'm honored. It's an honor and a pleasure, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I already, already see the, all the fire. Hey, your name, Blaze. I can see Come all on. the fire in you, boy. Let's go. <laughs> That's that fire of God. You a good man, man. I, I know, I know a real, I know a real, a real brother when I see one, man. So appreciate. You know, it's a pleasure to be here, man. Shout out to everybody. You in Florida, right? No, I'm in Georgia right now. Oh, you in I'm Georgia from Florida right now? And, but I'm, I'm always back and forth. Just came back. Yeah, I was just yeah. there two weeks ago. I'll be back in a month. <laughs> That's what it do, man. I can't wait to get to travel and stuff like that, yeah, man. Yeah, man. This Cleveland boy, I got love for Georgia, Florida, the whole South. Come Let's rock go. with me, Down Let's to go. earth, Christian, Cle- Christian rap artists, man. You know what I'm saying? From Cleveland, Ohio. Y'all ain't got my album from Glory to Glory. Go get that joint. It's everywhere, but you can get it off my website. Yes. KendoCanTay.com. That's K-I-N-D-U-K-I-N-T-E. Dot com. Help me run them YouTube numbers up. I got Let's some go. raw videos. Go check me out, Let's man. Go. And I love collabing and networking with the real. So hit me up. Tap in with me. I love it, man. And y'all also can go request that Energized right now on Blaze It Up Radio. You feel me? Y'all just go to the site, type in Kendu Kente. When they say the song, Energize, put your email in, give a shout out to whoever you want to shout out to. The song will be put right into the rotation. So definitely, man, support this man get that good music in your life you feel me bro i appreciate you dog thank you again for blessing me with your time yes thanks for having me, bro. Yes, thanks for having me know. ain't gonna be the last time i'm rocking with y'all for a minute <laughs> oh, yeah same same i can't wait to be in one of your music videos and and we got to get our collab on too you know what I'm you saying? you already <laughs> know you already know man that's gonna be well i i love that video i just saw you in the one with Man, that video was tight with your homie. Was he? Oh was yeah, he meet Michael. What's his Mike. name? Michael. His name. Yeah, Mike. yeah, man. That what, video raw. What's cool? What's cool about that is just that song alone is he, he, he not a Christian rapper at all. Um, and I remember once upon a time he was just on some whatever. But through you know his uh, like through his his time growing up and going through stuff over the years, you know he's been somebody that's been hitting me up. And um, I've been able to, like, God just been, would give me whatever to give to him, uh, you know, and he was like, after he hit me up and was like, you know what, um, you're the perfect person for this song. Show me what the, you know, what he was going to do with it and um, going through his journey of like, cause he even say, he talk about like in the, in the hook, he's like, we well, God, I wonder if do you hear my prayers or whatever. And it's not a, it's not a Christian song, but it's go, it's talking about, you know, the things he went through. So it was perfect. 
it, like with, even with my verse, I go through, man, going through this, the uh, going through the, you know, the performing, the autograph. Sometimes I need to get away, put the phone on airplane mode, talk to God, man. And, 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 and you know, he let me know that even though these times hard, he still got my back. And it was just good to show the different perspectives of, yeah. you know, of what goes on. But yeah, right. man, I, I had fun with it. It was real cool. Yeah, it looked, it looked, I was happy for you. I'm like, that, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I want to grow, I want to film a video like that too with the beautiful backgrounds and yeah, my little car. Cause I'll be like, <clears throat> cause another, another little myth is they think, you know, when you a Christian, like you ain't supposed to be fresh to death with them. It's, you know it's exactly. You supposed to be rolling in the hook. I guess we, we all supposed to be on the bus, rolling in the hook, D, bro. <laughs> No, little houses forget, forget that what they thought you know so how they think we uh, get they, they think you're supposed to you, you're not you ain't supposed to talk about you know you're going on a, how you think we get our wives you know what i'm saying right you know what I'm saying we, we gotta be they still gonna look at you like what you, you wearing know. yeah i'm clean baby what's up <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying feel, they wow. think god god kids supposed to look bummy no you know what i'm right. saying they be hating on the cars like what he in the bands and he supposed to be representing God. Who you know, they be hating on man, they be hating on the Christians. Bad boy. And then what's crazy is the is is the, the Christians hate on them too. Hate on the other Christians too. That now that's the part I can never I cannot understand that for the life of me. I can't like, either. that that kills me every time when when other Christians like hatefully talk bad about other Christians like degrade degrading them like trying to kick them down and make yeah. turn them into nothing they be like I'll be confused God, just protect me from that like I don't want to be around that. Yeah, I don't want to be around them kind of folks they I'm, crazy I'm telling you I created the song called Divergent there was this movie that came out um, called Divergent and the what's cool about that movie is the plot was they got a good selection of people. There's people there. There are fighters. There are teachers. There are people that are in the medical field. And then they had a they had like farmers. Then they had a group that were that they called divergents, where they couldn't put them in different groups because they had a bit of everything in them. You know what I'm saying? And what was crazy is everybody downed and down talked the, the divergents. But then it's like, all right, at the end of the day, I, I um. Uh, our goal, the divergence is trying to show them at the end of the day, we all, we still all the same people. Our goal is the same thing. So I took that with the, uh, once I started getting a whole bunch of the, the backlash from different, uh, from different Christians about stuff. I'm like, you know, you got, the, you got Catholics and Jehovah witness and this and that and that and this. And I'm like, all right, if, if Jesus is the, if Jesus is supposed to be the goal, ain't it? Ain't we all on the same team? Don't we all believe in Jesus? Why are we against each other? Just because I'm over here uh, in the hood with, and, and I'm talking to these people and that, that don't make me any less of a, you know, of a Christian. Like, what the heck going on? I thought we was on the same team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I made that song called, uh, uh, you know, Divergent, just to be like, all right, I'm, that's, that's why I'm divergent. You know what I'm saying? I, I love Jesus. That's it. Like, why all these other qualifications, you know, got to take why well, i gotta get knocked down for the fact that i'm bumping my, my bass bumping in the whip oh you don't love right. god that bass too loud <laughs> what why <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy i heard right. people was getting on people when, when the pandemic first started uh they they got hot with me they jumped they put me added me to this little group chat thing they had and they was like i was supposed to agree with them going ham and you call yourself a christian why are you running around with a mask on and being afraid ain't we, yeah, we oh, of, you a child of God. I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about? I said because of, uh, they, you, they they living in fear. I said when I get in the car and put my seatbelt on, I don't put my seatbelt on because I'm living in fear. I put my seatbelt on because God gave me a brain of wisdom. If I crash, I'm not going out the windshield. You feel me? <laughs> because I'm a Christian, don't mean I'm finna touch the hot stove. God gonna protect right. my hand from no. God <laughs> gave me wisdom to not. Exactly. Live. You, you feel me? And, and and I'm like y'all 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 tripping. I'm like y'all right. out here uh, hounding and, and and bashing all these Christians for wanting to be safe. No, they being right. smart. Martin Luther right. King was a, a man of God, believed in God. That ain't stopped that bullet from you, you know what I'm me. saying. At the end, that's not that don't make man you you need to be scared of talk you know speaking your truth. But I'm just saying like <laughs> we gotta use our brain. 
Yeah, you, you gotta God use gave wisdom. Us, you, they exactly. say, say half, walk by faith, not by foolishness. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, man, it's been it's been a pleasure to be here talking to you, man. I Definitely know it won't better. be the last time. And I know in a year in the future, for real, when in perfect timing, we're gonna do a raw cut, we're gonna make a video, yes. all of that. You did appreciate you, man. All right, y'all. We appreciate y'all tuning in with us, man. This is Blazing Up Radio, another exclusive with the homie Kendu Kente. You feel me? Y'all make sure y'all follow him. Get his music on all platforms. Get that glory to glory. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And let that thing just go ahead and and mm-hmm. all, all up in your soul. You feel me? But all right, man. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, appreciate you too, homie. Yes, God sir. bless you, man. Yeah, yeah.